Wildab tutorial, how to use Wildab. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I will be teaching you on how you will be able to use Wildab and all of its different features. Now using Wildab is very simple. Wildab is used to manage your expenses and pay or allocate your different budgets to different parts of your expenses such as, as you can see here, rent or mortgage, electricity, water, internet, cell phone, and many more. So you could utilize this platform as an allocation budget wherein you could manage your money. So the feature that we are looking at right now is the budget area. As you can see, this is where you will be able to find all the different things that you are going to need to pay for. As you can see here, basically like it, the name suggests, budget. You have three different uh, filters over here. You have underfunded, you have overfunded, and money available. And you will be able to add the money. As you can see here on the top, I will have two five or $2,500 in my YNAB. And you will be able to add money over here on the budget area where I am going to talk about in a bit. But over here on the right side, as you can see right now, it's currently auto-assigned. Wherein, once you input money into this YNAB, it will automatically assign budget to the specific part that you already added money into or required money. So, over here for example, let's show you an example. Right now, the rent and mortgage are already funded. But as you can see here, I have no money yet for the water. So let's say I need to pay $2,000 for the water. If I click on enter, it will auto deduct it on my budget over here as you can see. So it will be automatically paid or not paid. You will notice or you will be able to manage your allocation much better. But over here for the internet, let's say the internet is $600. I would have or it will be over assigned and I have now assign more than what I have so I could click on fix this and unassign money you can click on this option and then you could check out which one you would need or you would want to unassign money from so it will help you as well so let's unassign it from the internet and as you can see it will deduct $100 from the internet you could disable the auto assign over here uh let's zoom out over here but as you can see, you will be able to see some report over here on the right side. And you will be able to check out also dates over here on the top. You could change it to last month, uh, this month, or the next month. You could assign it. And uh, right now, uh, let's unselect that. The auto assign is enabled. So to disable this, I think... Uh, there is no real way to, there isn't any option to auto assign it or disable that auto assign, but it will automatically do that. And then you could just detect it after it is auto assigned. For example, this one, uh, I have assigned 1000. I could just assign $500 with instead of 1000. And as you can see, $500 more needed by the 30th. It will notify you how much you need and as you can see here on the right side as well you can see the total need the funded the to go which is $500 of course because we didn't have or we lessened the budget by $500 the auto side as you can see is over here the available budget right now is $500 so you will be able to easily monitor how much money you need to pay for how much money you have all of those stuff as you can see here, uh, we could enable now the, the manual option over here, wherein you could choose the specific uh, category that you would like to pay for specifically. Let's add another one. Let's say grocery. For grocery, I would like to pay $50 uh, dollars for it. It will auto assign, but uh, I will not auto assign that. Uh, let's just again 500 to 50. There we go. But uh, we would like to deduct that. To, de to deduct this, you're going to have to customize this. Oh, that's the name. 
you would need to deduct it from this area so move a certain amount so let's say let's move 200 uh, 200 worth of it to the uh, electricity go click on ok and the assigning or the assign would be deducted and it will change it's a bit confusing to know which one the option is whether it's assigning or changing the total budget but it will automatically allocate money to it which is very useful then you could move money around as well so you could check out the reports over here on the left side as you can see like your total spending your total spending for this time period average spending for a month categories all of those stuff you have your network as well right now we have uh this network which is four thousand as our asset we have income versus expense you can see it over here Right now, it's messed up because I changed some budget before. You can check out all your accounts over here. Everything happening with your account, whether it's your bank or your credit card or your cash. You will be able to see the flow in this part, as you can see. As you can see, on my first part, I have placed $100,000 in. Then outflow, wherein I took it out, $100,000, which is why in the report, as you can see, we have this as the report. Now, to be able to add on the budget, let's remove this for now. We can close the account. I just balance and close. And you will be able to remove that specific account. And do the same thing with the salary. I'll, I'll remove this for now. There we go. Now, we have no accounts. So, what you're going to do is, as you can see here, we don't have any more money. So, we could fix this. Unassign money from all of this. From the water bill, then the mortgage, then we could unassign it from the electricity as well, and we could unassign it from the internet as well. There we go. And we have the one for grocery as well. So if you don't have money, it will show you the different options that you could take the money away from. But right now, we could add an account. You could have the option to connect your bank and automatically import transaction, or start with your current balance, which is usually cash. And start your own, to enter your own transaction. So you give it a nickname. So let's say uh, cash for now. You can choose the account type. You can have checking, savings, cash, credit card, line of credit. Or you have mortgage, auto loans, net loan. All of those options you will be able to have. Like assets and liability for tracking as well. But for now, let's go with cash. And the current uh, balance, let's go with 100,000 as well. Click on next. And it's going to load it. And there we go. Click on done. And now we have our cash over here without with our working balance. And we can auto-assign it as well. But right now we don't have any assigned. So we could set this up by 1000 again. Oh, 1000 again. Then whatever amount of money that you require over here, it will automatically be funded as you can see. You could add other types of account as you saw earlier wherein you could have like asset over here nickname asset then uh, let's say 50k click on next done and you will have a tracking option over here as you can see you will now be able to track your assets over here and you can reconcile and do everything you need to know and that's basically it that it is a very simple software or platform but it is a very useful platform as well so if you understood how to use it and if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.